name is Sonia Brown with TDK Electronics. Uh, and today we're going to show you uh, one of our haptic displays for automotive. Uh, in this display, if you touch these uh, buttons uh, on a vehicle, you would have basically right now a um, mechanical button. And this takes the place of mechanical buttons, but on a touch screen, if you touch this, it's very flat, it's, uh, you're just touching glass. So now we can give you the feel of actually touching that button, and it feels like a clip. How good is the haptic feedback? Oh, I feel it. Nice. It's nice. It's very responsive, right? Yes. Is it directional, exactly where you touch? Um, exactly where you touch. Um, there's also the rotary dials. You have big rotary dials on your um, car that stick out now. This is rotary dial that's nice. uh, just uh, electric. It feels nice. Yeah. Um, there's also the search, so you can get a um, edge feel, sorry. Um, an edge feel here and a slider. I can touch it. There we go. Edge, uh, what does that mean? And, um, so edge foot means that you're finding the button. So as you move your finger, it gets it gets closer to the button, you get a higher feedback. And so you can find the button without taking your eye off the road. And that one is here, this one down here. So if you feel, oh. and then when you get to the button, you, you get a click. And so yeah. you know you've actually reached the correct spot. Are there cars out there with this already inside? Not yet. Uh, we're working on some designs um, for model years like 27. Um, so, How's it different from the existing haptic feedback solutions? Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. So um, these are the parts, um, if you can see these. Uh, so in this display, there is this part, just one. All just one in the whole. That you feel or from that one. Does that mean the whole display is shaking or somehow it targets where you're touching? No, nope, it uses uh, capacitive touch. It could use resistive touch or anything, any other kind of sensing, but uh, it works with that and wherever you touch, it gives the correct feedback. And so all of those different feedbacks are coming from one part. You don't have to have a separate part for each feedback. It makes it very, very cost effective to add haptics to um, a car. It's just in the middle of the display. It's just in the middle of the display. And if you want to look at this, it will give you an idea of actually how it's integrated. Very simple integration. We work with a couple partners um, to, to do this uh, machine. And this is a proof of concept. You can take this straight from a proof of concept into production. So it's a strong haptic feedback. Very strong haptic feedback. So this one part, just one of them, can uh, move a display up to 20 inches and two kilograms, which is huge. To do that with a solenoid or other solutions, they would be very big and you would need more than one. And it could be a very high quality display with a great uh, touch feeling. Yes, absolutely. All right. We call it high definition haptics. Nice. And what else are you showing here, Display Week? This is another uh, type of, so this one is more an ultra, uh, ultrasonic sensing. Um, and this, we partner with Vibranova, uh, which is um, uh, new, uh, but not new. They were have to you and people might recognize them as have to you um, Something's happening when I'm touching, huh? Yes, so I'm too short to see. Yeah. I have to come around, sorry. Is so ultrasonic haptics. In this, it's ultrasonic, so you don't have to move anything. What's moving inside is you're getting your vibration. So we have our piezos on the side on this one, and it's several piezos in these bars. And then when I go, let's see, let's do this one. Um, there's all kinds of different things. This is a texture one. So when I go this way, I feel one thing. When I ruffle the, the scales, I feel different. So you might want to feel that because that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yes. So one way you move it, it gets the one. Nice. So this is, is really So it's like cool a too. different kind of a vibration in there. Uh, yeah, so um, the keyboard, if you know, you get the, the actual feel of actually typing on a keyboard rather than a just a, a flat screen. Nice. Yeah. Is this shipping? Also coming later? This is uh, in a project that we're working on right now that will be a 27 Model 2 that you should look for from a luxury uh, car maker. I'm not sure that we can actually say the name right Yeah, now, cannot. But TDK. Uh, There's TDK technology in there. TDK and Vibranova technology. Nice. Hap to you. Yes. All right. What else do you have here? Um, so here we have more haptics uh, here. And this is a button. 
tactic. So when you press on this, wherever you press, it's using the force that I'm applying on my finger uh, to let it know that it's been touched. So here you don't need any kind of um, resistive touch or capacitive touch. It's just the part is doing both jobs of sensing and then giving you a feedback. Now Whoa. unplug this. It feels like you're indenting this, right? Yeah. It's like you have an indention. If I unplug this and now you try it again, you'll see just how firm that is. There's no indention. It's really making your mind think that you're pushing it's the It's feel like it's moving. Yes. Yeah. So, That's nice. So, um, and then we also have piezo speakers if you're interested in. batteries, all of these things are massive opportunities yeah, for Australia. I can hear that. Uh, it's nice, very clear. Uh, okay. And I think these incentives um, are going to be able to put in place. So really that that the speaker. Given if the you feel here, not just you'll feel the now, vibration. Not the we actually years, made that little um, thin metal sheet a speaker. We can make this plexiglass a speaker just by putting them on the back of the plexiglass. So really, yeah. anywhere but, so you can this, this find any kind of yeah. yeah. so a speaker. You can turn the screen into a speaker? Yes. We've Perfectly. Got a very Perfect segue. You can turn a screen into a speaker. You can turn a red solo cup into a speaker. <laughs> you can turn oh. How good is the sound quality compared to regular speakers? Australia. So and they'll we, set us um, up to have you can, export you can, industries. Which you, is very clear, right? But it does with speaking music the same. Great jobs, um, great the drawback for piezo speakers is that we can't get into the subwoof um, range. The so our, our real range is between 400 projects, hertz and 20 kilohertz. Um, so very good for tweeters, very good for um, voice, but not... You could add a bass. You could add a, the subwoof somewhere in the, in the building. Just put it somewhere and then you, you all set, right? All set. All right. The beauty of this is that right now, the voice automotive speakers have to be available. basically on the I think what we need to uh, ask you know, ourselves the, and those people feet, who that's not want the to play place politics to hear and get in the, the way of this is um, if they stop We can take these, these and put them on a visor, on the dashboard, on the display, um, where it's much more uh, this is suitable the for, you for the sound. So especially when you have these smart assistants coming out with the AI and stuff and they're speaking to you, if the sound comes from the side, it's distracting. But if it comes directly from the, exactly. the animated character, that's where you expect to hear it. And so it gives you more immersive. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.